And now, live from Television City in Hollywood, it's The Nixon Show, starring Richard Nixon. With tonight's special guest, star of stage, screen, and internet, the incomparable Kurt Carley. And now, here he is, Richard Nixon. Good evening. I'm Richard Nixon, and this is The Nixon Show. I'm pleased to welcome Kurt Carley to our show tonight. Oh. Welcome, Kurt. Thank you, Richard. Nice to meet Sorry you. Sorry to start you by popping you in. That's <laughs> right. I never had that happen before. Very strange. Excellent. So okay. tell me, Kurt, where'd you grow up? Uh, I'm from a small town in uh, western Pennsylvania. Uh, no one's ever heard of it. And it's just south of Erie. Kurt, how did you get involved in the movie industry? Oh, well, that's a very interesting question. Um, I... As a kid, I went and saw movies, and I sat there in the theater and said, gee, I'd like to do that. And so uh, I went to college, and I studied theater. And I was very fortunate that uh, two gentlemen uh, named Kevin Clash and Jim Martin uh, introduced me to a man named Marty Robinson. And I went to New York, and I auditioned for Little Shop of Horrors. And I was the plant in Little Shop of Horrors in the off-Broadway production. So was that how you got into doing creatures and uh, animatronics and this type of thing? Absolutely. Um, after I did Little Shop of Horrors, I played uh, big walking figures uh, in New York. And then uh, after doing that for about 10 years, I came out here to Los Angeles to do uh, Godzilla. And then I met more people and I kept working ever since. Now let's be straight. Which Godzilla was this? Uh, this was the Godzilla, directed by Roland Emmerich and starring Matthew Broderick. Uh, and I played not only the mother Godzilla, but a baby Godzilla as well. Tell me, Kurt, how did you get involved with uh, Star Trek New Voyages? How did I get involved with Star Trek New Voyages? Well, um, a very nice uh, uh, friend of mine introduced me to a man named Max Rem. And uh, I auditioned to be Captain Pike. For New Voyages, an episode called In Harm's Way. And I was very fortunate to get the job. And we flew uh, to the East Coast to a secret location that I cannot reveal because it's a secret, uh, where we shot the episode uh, that was about five years ago. And uh, uh, I got to meet James Cawley, uh, who uh, runs the, um, the Star Trek New Voyages, and also all of the lovely people. Uh, the locals who work on the show, the people who build the sets and help make the costumes and paint the sets and uh, shoot the episodes and do the uh, sound uh, lighting and all that stuff. Uh, I got to meet the great crew and the great people up there, and I was very happy to do that. It was a great time. Isn't James Cawley uh, the Elvis impersonator? That is correct. Uh, James Cawley is, has been known to imitate Elvis. Oh, excuse me. Is an Elvis impersonator. I hope I have that. The right and he also plays Captain Kirk in the show. He also plays Captain Kirk in the uh, in the series, and I had a lot of fun working with James. Isn't it true? On the first episode, he had the mutton chops as Captain Kirk. Uh, I have seen that first episode, and I think I remember that, but I can't. Don't hold me to it. Tell me uh, some of the other projects you've worked on. Well, uh, some of the other projects I've worked on, I've. Uh, I got to work on some really interesting things. I was in a fan film, um, besides Star Trek New Voyages, Richard. I did a fan film called Batman Dead End. Uh, perhaps you've seen it. It uh, has Batman fighting uh, the Joker, Alien, and Predator. And I play the Predator in that. Let's take a look at that clip. Oh.
Excellent. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Continue. Well, um, I also worked on that project, and with the same director, uh, we shot something a year later called World's Finest, and that had Batman and Superman, and I was very happy to play Lex Luthor in that. Let's take a look at a clip from World's Finest. For every force of good in the world, there is evil. Every war has its casualties, Clark. Now, the fate of the world will once again rest on the shoulders of Krypton's last son. Why don't you trust me? You let people get too close. I can't risk that. That's the difference between you and me. I want two birds taken out with one stone. You have three days. Oracle, I've got a situation here. You're gonna break into the White House. Just another building, Clark. A few more guards, a few more locks. Where's Bruce? Luther. You make an excellent Lex Luthor. <laughs> thank you very much, thank you. Tell me about your most recent projects. Uh, thank you. Uh, my most recent projects, right now in theaters, we have Underworld 3, Rise of the Lycans, where I, I play one of the werewolves, the Lycans. Uh, I was also in the first two movies. And then coming out in the month of June, I believe, we have Land of the Lost, and I play a slee stack in that. Uh, Land of the Lost, I don't know if you remember from the early 70s. You were, you were a little busy in the early 70s, Richard. That was just about the time the shit hit the fan. I remember. <laughs> uh, it was a TV series uh, Saturday morning on NBC and uh, Sid and Marty Croft. Uh, and I, uh, uh, I'm in the movie and I play a slee stack and I was very happy to be uh, hired also to teach all the other slee stacks uh, how a slee stack moves. I was the slee stack movement coach. Boy, that's a mouthful. Let's take a look at that clip. Oh. We're back now with Dr. Rick Marshall, whose new book arrives in stores tomorrow. This theory of yours, what exactly is that? Two simple words, time warps. You've spent $50 million of your money studying time warps? No, that's adorable. No, uh, taxpayers' money. Something's happening. This is an earthquake. Ah! Can we go back in time? Yes, and space. Friends? Smells good. Ah! You realize where this leads? Yes! Matt Lauer can eat it! Just try to be still. I don't think it's working. So, Kurt, uh, what you got going for the future here? What are your plans? I'm exploring with a friend of mine, uh, starting a, uh, a commercial production company to uh, produce commercials. And uh, I'm auditioning and uh, looking for work. And I have a couple projects actually that I don't want to talk about because they haven't really come to fruition yet. But um, uh, knock on wood, we'll see. Yeah, hopefully they'll they're going to happen later this year, and I'll be be able to come back on your show and tell you more about those then. Well, thank you, Kurt, for being our guest <laughs> on our premiere episode of The Nixon Show. Thank you. You take care now. Thank you, Richard. Good luck too. out there. Oh, thank you. Are you going to take gonna me out? I'm going to pop you out. We're okay. All right. I'm, I'm ready. Well, thank you for joining me on the premiere episode of The Nixon Show. You take care, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>